income and other criteria. When we look at individual aspirations and goals, we find that people not only think of better income, but also have goals such as security, respect for others, equal treatment, freedom, etc. in mind. Similarly, when we think of a nation or a region, we may besides average income think of other equally important attributes. This means that on an average, a person in Punjab earned rupees 26,000 in one year. Whereas on an average, a person in Bihar would earn only around rupees 5,500. So, if per capita income is to be used as the measure of development, Punjab will be considered as the most developed and Bihar will be considered as the least developed state of the three. Now let us look at certain other data pertaining to these states. What does this table show? The first column of the table shows that in Kerala, out of 1,000 children born alive, 11 died before completing one year of age. But in Punjab, the proportion of children dying within one year of birth is 49, which is nearly five times more. However, on the other hand, the per capita income of Punjab is much more than Kerala, as shown earlier. Now try to think of parents whose children die before they even celebrate their first birthday. How painful it must be for these parents. Next, note the year to which this data pertains. It is 2003. So we are not talking of old times. It is 56 years after independence when our metro towns are full of high-rise buildings and shopping malls. The problem does not end with infant mortality rate. The last column shows that more than half of the children in Bihar do not even get to go to school. This means that if you went to school in Bihar, more than half of your class would be missing. Those who could have been in school are not there. Then, the question arises, how is it that the average person in Punjab has more income than the average person in Kerala, but lags behind in these crucial areas? We will explore the answer in the coming modules.